Hey there guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I have another monthly favorites for you. My August favorites. Firstly, I just wanted to touch base and say um, I really hope everyone is feeling a little less rattled and possibly a little bit more empowered after all of the events that have been taking place so far this month, September in South Africa. Um, I know that today uh, was the first march in Durban. Um, there is another one happening in Hillcrest next week on Saturday. If you check out my Instagram, I will link the actual post below for you so you can actually find it directly. So please, if you have not taken part in today's march or if you have and you want to get involved in another way, please join everyone on Saturday next week. Let's get into the monthly favorites um, on a lighter topic. Um, I never managed to get my posts up or my videos up on the last day of the month. Very rarely do I manage to get them up in the first week of the month. I have quite a few skincare favorites here. I feel like skincare has kind of been leading me lately. I haven't really been reaching for too much makeup. Most days I wear either a tinted moisturizer or a foundation. I do have my lash extensions, um, so I don't really have to worry about makeup too much. Um, I will be having to let these lash extensions so if you look up close you can see this is almost three weeks of my lash extensions my beautiful extreme lashes they're still looking pretty damn good um, sadly I won't be having a full from the set um, I am going for surgery this month and after speaking to Nadine from Nadine Kruger Aesthetics where I have my extreme lashes done by the way if you're KZN based and you're looking for a good lash tech please give her a shout I will link her page below for you as well uh, she's actually the KZN trainer for Extreme Lashes, so she is fabulous. Um, after a little bit of chatting with her, we decided that we're not going to do a full. And I'm going to, after a week or so after my surgery, I'm going to go in and have a full set done. When you do go into surgery, they do take your eyes. And she says she's just worried about the possible damage to my own lashes, taping over the lash extensions and possibly wrenching them off when they untape my eyes. So something to think about i know she said a lot of people like to have lash extensions done for the going in under anesthetic because it does make you feel a little bit better about yourself but just maybe think about the possible possible negative side of that the possible damage you could be causing so i've got two makeup items four skincare items a hair care item a fashion item and a booze item. So let me get the booze item out of the way because I know not everyone drinks. I got for my birthday a bottle of the Durban Scarlet Gin. Uh, it's made using coffee cherries, only one in the world, the most beautiful, rich tasting, very slight berry noted gin that has the most beautiful scarlet color to it. I do have a blog post where I actually created some cocktails, uh, two which I did, one which hubby did, and I have beautiful photos up of them. Um, the very nice people at Distillery 031 who make Durban gin actually invited me and hubby around there on the, the last first Thursdays, not this one, to go and taste as they actually really liked his Cascara Express where we paired coffee liqueur with the gin. A little unusual, a lot delicious, it was divine. Um, and they were actually putting that on the menu, testing it out, not exactly the same as our, our cocktail, but they had added coffee liqueur to a gin and tonic. So while we were there, we actually tasted one of the other gins, just neat, on ice, and it was beautiful. Um, and the lovely Adrian actually took us through a guided tasting of their other spirits. Um, they have a beautiful tasting room by the way you can actually go down there and do a full tasting amazing experience the venue is beautiful and he actually gave us a taster of the heart of darkness coffee liqueur now i was very kindly after that sent this by distillery 031 with a really pretty copper um, tot measure and a little um cocktail it's really, really pretty. There's some beautiful cocktails like Cranberry Fizz. Um, where's the other one? Durban Negroni, the Pale Princess, which I like the sound of, uh, which actually has the Heart of Gold Vanilla and Baobab liqueur in, which is delicious. It is so nice. They've got some really nice cocktails in there. Um, but what we really liked was the fact that in the cocktail where we'd actually included coffee liqueur, we'd originally put Kahlua, 
they have ever used their heart of darkness um, they sent me this to play around with and we've had a little taste I actually did a shot of this next to a shot of Kahlua and this is much paler in color however if you actually smell the two Kahlua smells like instant coffee this smells like freshly brewed filter coffee but with alcohol in it is delicious uh, there will be a recipe post going up soon I've already done one of the recipes I wanted with this I have another two to play with um, but this is just oh the if you like a sweeter kind of liqueur as an after dinner kind of drink or you want to try and make cocktails with something or you're looking for a nice gift for someone who likes coffee this it smells delicious it is d divine on its own story 031 is doing exceptionally well and they've got some super products so if you haven't checked them out please do and then I will move on to my hair care product um, I was very kindly gifted the brand new L'Oreal Botanicals range they have four different ranges of hair products in the botanicals line up and they sent me the rose and geranium variations so I did get a shampoo a conditioner and a hair mask um, but I've, I've loved them all I'm not gonna lie I've loved them all they definitely are a little on the rich side so if you are not used to using masks or you don't really reach for, for masks or richer conditioners just go in slowly with a little bit of product um, but I I know that with highlighted blonde hair often it can look dull and lack shine and the rose and geranium radiance mask for dull and colored hair intense care protects color revives shine oh wow I used it this morning I actually did an intense treatment with this this morning I popped this on dry hair left it in for an hour and then I used the shampoo and conditioner after and my hair feels so soft and feels so shiny and manageable oh it just you see that that shine it's exceptional um, I'm really really loving this whole ra whole range um, the smell is quite perfumed so if you are sensitive to fragrance maybe um, maybe try the the purple one that has lavender and it is actually to soothe and calm um, irritated scalps um, and I have noticed that the mask is a little bit stronger in fragrance than the shampoo and the conditioner and that if I don't rinse it off properly the skin around my ears gets a little bit irritated but I've got insanely sensitive skin around there um, it is vegan 98% natural origin and it has rose petal oil and geranium essential oil in. it is beautiful it really smells so luxurious um, your hair your hair smells like it afterwards it's just I'm loving it right let me hit up the single fashion thing and then we'll get into makeup and then skincare um, I went to the East Coast Radio House and Garden show this year and I actually did buy some jewelry uh, I think it's Lauren Lauren Jin Lauren Gin Lauren Jin I'm gonna say G I double N um, they had a special on that you could buy two pairs of earrings for a certain price and I bought a pair for myself and I bought a pair for my sister to put away for her birthday because she's actually turning 30 next week my baby sister is all grown up um, this is the pair I got for myself they're just really beautiful kind of textured rose gold earrings um, they just look stunning in my friend Fifi actually has a similar kind of style of earring in gold and she's what inspired me and when I saw these I've been looking everywhere for earrings in that kind of style and when I saw these I knew I had to have them they do have them in silver and gold as well but you guys know I love me some rose gold so that had to be it and I can't tell you how often I've already worn these I have just worn them absolutely to death and it's bizarre that the two makeup products I have as favorites this month are both foundations one is the S foundation I have the shade 3 uh, put a little bit on my hand for you I love that these blend out you can actually go up or down a shade as long as you get the tone right and they do have different tones and they blend out so beautifully that you could quite easily go up or down a shade because when I'm not self tanned this does look at first a little dark for me but once it's blended in it is just beautiful it contains pre and probiotics it is vegan it's cruelty free it's natural it's organic and it has SPF 30 
it is basically like a delicious treat for your skin and it has medium coverage too. Most products that have skincare benefits are not this good coverage. Um, I'm really, really enjoying it. If you actually see it, it has an airless pump and I've already used that that much of the product so <laughs> you can tell i'm loving it it is on the glowy side it is a, a radiant foundation it's not a matte foundation it doesn't look cakey and i have combo skin so i was a little bit mm, i have to set with powder i have to set with powder i wear this most days during the week now and the more i wear it the better my skin looks and the better my skin looks the more i fall in love with this foundation it's just because I have combo skin and it can tend to look greasy, I usually stray away from any kind of radiant foundations and usually go for my mattes or my kind of satin finishes. If I put this on just by itself, it does not make me look greasy, it does not make me look oily, it does not make me look like I've motorboated a bag of slap chips. It makes me look dewy and youthful and just beaming with health. The other foundation is an old love of mine. I have another full blog post on this. I will link all of these below for you. Um, I finished up a whole bottle. I actually bought this um, just before I got married. Um, finished up a whole bottle of it. Loved it. And at that time, I didn't repurchase because I was trying to use up the extensive amount of foundations I already own. Um, and then I repurchased my Estee Lauder shortly after that um, when I managed to work my way through about three of the foundations that I was actually currently in the process of finishing and I love my Estee Lauder nothing will ever keep me away from it but there was a part of me that wanted my Lancome Taint Adol Ultra foundation again yeah there was a part of me that just really really yearned to have this back in my life it is very similar in terms of coverage and wear to the Estee Lauder Double Wear. It does have rose in it, so it has a slight fragrance to it, which is beautiful. If anything, it just makes it feel more luxurious, and it's not a scent that lingers. Once it dries down, that's gone. Um, I like the fact it has a pump on it. You don't have to get the pump separately. That is beautiful, and the packaging with the gold Lancome rose on is exquisite. It just has a softer finish. I mean, it's just the most exquisite foundation. It is full coverage. You can use a little and have a kind of sheer to medium coverage you can use a little bit more to get a solid medium coverage and you can use extra to have full coverage i hate doing this because it's my precious and i don't want to waste it but you can see it's definitely got good coverage in it and it's a very natural soft finish it's such a beautiful foundation lovely delicate rose into it Novexpert Novexpert I'm not too sure how to say that name it is a French brand you can buy it from Metropolitan Cosmetics and they were very kind enough to send me this and another one of the products from the brand you guys know I love face mists you guys know I love hyaluronic acid this is something that has in both it has a Beautiful fragrance. I'm not too sure if it's floral or fruity or what exactly it smells like, but it has a lovely smell. 100% natural ingredients, anti-aging for all skin types. Smoothing toning mist with hyaluronic acid. Um, it says here, hyaluronic acid is the most important component in your skin. We know this. Uh, it is basically a dehydrated skin's dream. Its lifespan in the epidermis is a mere 24 hours. The solution? A single pump that releases a cloud of micronized droplets of hyaluronic acid. A unique product that moisturizes and plumps up the skin. Ideal for use in the morning, after cleansing, before applying a cream to help set makeup, etc. I've not owned this for long and I'm already sitting there. Um, it is not a cheap product, but it's something that I will definitely repurchase um, and just not use every single day or uh, every single step. I could not imagine using it as a toner before cream again and to set my makeup because it's, it's, it's precious and we want to savor it. Um, it. It's definitely a face mist I would buy again though because the difference I've noticed in the hydration levels of my skin with this is massive. It's really made a difference. The Mario Badescu drying lotion. So there is a little bit of a question about which products to use for which pimples from Mario Badescu. I know that they've got a 
the drying lotion they've got a cream and a serum I think as well each one is meant to target different spots this is for spots that come to a head specifically um, to be fair I get little little breakouts from stress on my neck um, it is uh, it puts a strain on your adrenal gland when you are under a lot of stress and often the way your body takes it out is it makes you very tired, it makes you look drained, it makes you look old and my best is getting little tiny little spots on my neck. Um, I did not know that it was from stress. I thought that was hormonal but Shanna from MEG Skin Experts when I went for my Optify Facial actually told me I need to get on a supplement that helps my body cope with the side effects of stress. I've yet to do that because I have so much else that I'm taking at the moment. I agree with her, I do need to. Um, those tiny little red spots though, this really does make a difference. Um, even though it's meant to only help with spots that come to a head. Um, for everyone who attended the KZN meetup, if you are watching this, I've been talking with my hands so you can see that it's not 100% settled. It is usually pink at the bottom, clear at the top. Don't mix it. Leave it like that. When you want to put it on something, you take your cotton bud and you dip it in the bottle through the clear into the pink and you draw it out. You then pop it onto wherever you need to. It is amazing. It helps dry spots up without irritating them at all. The, I do completely attribute that to the calamine in it. I was very excited that this was put into our Arcasian Meetup goodie bags because not everyone is a beauty blogger, not everyone gets pimples. However, everyone in Durban in summer gets mozzy bites and this is the only thing that takes the sting out of mozzy bites for me. I didn't even think to use it that way until I'd been complaining about mozzy bites and someone from Mario Badescu actually DM'd me on Instagram and said, pop that onto your mozzy bite, trust us. This on mosquito bites and any insect bites is an absolute miracle worker. It takes the sting and the itch out of a mozzy bite instantly. Instantly. I have put it on other insect bites. I am um, apparently um, an absolute dream for spiders. They love to bite me. It might be the fact that I do kill them if they are in my house and they are taking vengeance. I don't know. This, honestly, I've put it on spider bites, I've put it on muddy bites, I've put it on pimples come to her head, I've put it on little tiny red dot pimples. It works on everything. Um, I do often reach for my Benzac gel on particularly aggressive pimples that I want to get rid of quicker, as this is a little bit of a slower process. However, it's not as harsh as the Benzac, it doesn't dry the skin out in that area as excessively, leaving it feeling kind of crusty. It's a slower process, but it's a lot more gentle on the skin and it really does help. Um, I have the NUX Creme Protégés Boost Multi Correction Eye Balm Gel. NUX were very kind as to send me a few of their products, especially their new uh, two minute mask, their Insta Mask. Love that, it's really good. But you guys know I've always, I'm always on the hunt for a really good eye cream and I've found so many good eye creams lately that I am actually battling to choose. I'm kind of, well, well, let's use this for a week, let's use that for a week, obviously trying to use her product. I love the texture of this. It's not rich like a cream, it's not super light like a gel. It kind of melts into your skin, hydrating it so beautifully without being heavy i find that if i use heavy eye creams especially during the day under my eye um it creases my makeup it doesn't do that i've got it on today no creases at all just hydrated and smooth i do kind of stray away from very rich anti-aging eye creams and stick more to the hydrating ones and this has been really really good i highly recommend that next up is the Falorga time for the night multi-correction wrinkles night cream As you can see, a little bit on the lid, a little bit on the bottom there, I'm actually almost finished this. I find a lot of anti-wrinkle products are very rich. Um, I have combination skin, so even in the evenings, maybe once or twice a week, usually only once I like a nice rich cream, but I don't like it every single night because it will actually clog up my pores, make me break out. Um, I prefer a kind of 
thinner, lighter texture that's going to hydrate my skin. It'll help give it the obviously anti-aging that it needs without being too heavy or too rich. Um, this Filoga Time Filla Night has been exactly that. It has been beautiful. It is light. It, it's, it's got like a gel cream texture to it almost. So as you can see, it's not a super thick, super rich lotion. It's got a very light texture to it, except it still feels super super hydrating um i really really like this product and i love and 100 percent agree with everything it says it does so it's obviously an anti-wrinkle cream however it's for more than one kind of wrinkle so i did get sent this i did get a press release i've been using it for so long now i've actually forgotten i have just pulled it up on my phone it is for contraction wrinkles deep wrinkles surface wrinkles dryness wrinkles so anything from um dehydration um, and then it says boosted nighttime action, especially for sleep, pillow lines, and puffy features in the morning. Now, I have a satin pillowcase, and I still, every now and then, if I sleep very hard, get sleep lines on my face, on my cheeks. Um, since I've been using this, I've not had a single pillow crease on my face. Um, the more I use it, the kind of less puffy my face is in the morning. I don't know about you, but often when I wake up in the morning, before I actually get on about my day, my face feels a little, little like puffy, not bloated, just puffy. Um, and this really, really does help with that. Um, I just, I love, I love the texture. It actually says it has a smooth gel cream texture. So for all of those ladies in their 30s or 40s who, or older, who are looking for an anti-wrinkle night cream that is not super rich super heavy super greasy and oily this is definitely a really good option for you i actually would 100 percent it, it is an expensive product it is not cheap i would 100 100 repurchase this um it's a really really beautiful night cream my final skincare favorite and i do feel like i have to um admit that i was wrong uh is the estee lauder advanced night repair this is a cult product this is their latest obviously their latest um generation of it. it says for all skin types you apply it onto clean skin as far as i know the estelle or advanced night repair was like the original hyaluronic acid serum um i often i have used the little mini bottles you get um i don't have any now um, but often when you get free gifts from them and whatnot, you get like a little mini bottle. It's like a week's worth or maybe more. Um, I have had those before. Uh, my mom has had them, had them before and given them to me. And I actually used two of those little mini bottles one after the other. And I didn't really see a difference. I think at that time, I wasn't suffering any dehydration in my skin. And I was still in my mid-20s. So I don't think I was really in the right time age wise or dehydration wise to really notice a difference from it so i, I kind of thought to myself this is a very expensive product i'm not really seeing a difference like if i'd seen a difference and i do understand with skincare often you do need a little bit longer it's not going to be an overnight difference in your skin but if i'd noticed a difference after two weeks i may have actually gone out and bought a bottle myself and i didn't um, I have had it on my wish list because I have I have chatted to a few people who are massive fans of the product and they've said to me no really you do need to try it this obviously is a, a newer generation to the ones that I had tried I think previously um, and now I'm at a point where I am I'm 33 I am more concerned of aging I am more concerned of fine lines and wrinkles and my skin is more dehydrated especially now that we've just been in winter so I had this on my birthday wish list and my beautiful mum picked up a bottle she got me the small bottle obviously she didn't want to grab the big one because she doesn't know if i'm going to like it um and i don't know if you can see the level sitting about there um i do feel like it's a product you can easily use too much of because it's so light um you only need a tiny bit what i do is i actually take the dropper and i drop a single drop onto my middle finger and a single drop onto my ring finger and then I use that to kind of spread them around on my fingertips and then apply it to my face. That way I'm not applying it into my palm and it's 
all being absorbed into the skin of my palm before it even gets into my face and I find two drops is more than sufficient for my whole face and my neck um, it's very hydrating very very hydrating I've really really been enjoying this and I'm quite happy to eat my words and say I was wrong and I will be repurchasing the big bottle of this when this is finished and that brings me to my final favorite hot water bottle um, I have long been a user of those kind of um, microwavable wheat bags like this this is a square one you get long kind of sausage ones that you can wrap around your neck um, or obviously wrap around your back if you're suffering from low back pain I've loved those but I find lately that every single one I've bought and I've been through about two two or three now they just hold on to so much moisture they feel damp for a long time and not only that so you you literally are putting it against your skin and your clothes are getting damp from using it which is kind of gross because I, I know that there's wheat in them you get some brands that have cherry pips in them it's kind of gross that that's wet it's not nice and within 10 minutes the heat is gone you don't have that depth of heat that you need to actually comfort and soothe I've gotten back into using a hot water bottle and while it's not going to be great for neck pain or middle back pain I have been having endometriosis flare-ups I'm sure that you guys have noticed on my Instagram I did a post on my Instagram stories about the different uh, medications I take and when I need them and when I have to take them I have been having flare-ups that is actually going to be my surgery on the 17th I'm going in for another laparoscopy this has been an absolute godsend I love this one I think my mom bought me this one a couple of years ago from Diskem you get Diskem and Checkers have ones with really beautiful fluffy covers which are so nice um, you can put hot water in here it doesn't even take a full kettle of hot water and it lasts about four hours of warmth maybe not that deep heat that you want but I will have sit with it for a while um, behind my back on my chair at work so it sits between my chair and my lower back and then I'll swap and I'll sit with it on my stomach I have been known even at home to put on my sweatpants and tuck it into my sweatpants so it gets right onto my lower abdomen where I'm in pain um, because it is more of a consistent heat uh, and it stays so much hotter for longer I find it a lot more effective than the wheat bags I know that you can get electric hot water bottles that you'll charge up um, and then they'll obviously stay at a consistent heat until the charge dies out and then you charge it up again I would like to look into those but I'm really finding that the old-fashioned hot water bottle is working and you can see I mean it had two pom-poms one is open and one has just you know fallen off completely I think that might have been Luna attacking them uh, got to make sure she does not attack the hot water bottle and burn herself but I've really really found that they work and this winter with it being so cold as well it's so comforting to have something fluffy and warm in in bed with me so that is it for my August favorites guys I hope that you enjoyed it um, don't forget I will put all of the links for any blog posts and all the products I mentioned in the, the box below okay, that's it from me please subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any more videos and I will see you in my next video bye